It's the Brothers Geek Out Podcast, episode 106. 106? 106, 106. Got G-Man in Singapore, got Ash at Mum's house. <laughs> What's happening, bro? What's happening, guys? Good, man. Good, good, good. Just chilling, watching the X-Men cartoons. I'm loving them. Uh, I'm on Hi, episode two. What's that? I'm on the, what episode you on? I'm on episode, season one, episode 10, The Unstoppable Juggernaut with the Colossus and Juggernaut. So sick, man. So sick. <laughs> I like, yeah, it's nice. Oh, but yeah, other than that, um, um, yeah, that's it, man. Just been tre- keeping myself occupied, reading comics, doing some exercise. Today I was training with my, oh, I, I, I done an online training, um, a friend of mine in Japan, so I was training her and her child. Well, her child was nice. just jumping around, but I was training her online, so that was quite fun. That was a good experience for me to kind of take time off for a workout uh, online. It mm-hmm. was good. And then, um, yeah, read some comics, played some of the piano. Yeah, keep it productive. Good family quiz, the earlier one. So that was yeah, good. that was actually really good. Really good. That was good yeah. fun. Yeah, what about you guys? What about you, Ash? Uh, nothing much, man. Weekends are just chilling. Went shopping a bit in the morning. Um, that's it, man. I'm watching X Men. Uh, I'm on episode four now. Um, what, season one? Yeah, yeah, season one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's um how's the shopping like in London? Like what's it what's it like? Like do you still have to go queue or is it still okay or No, nah, you gotta queue up man, you gotta queue, it's like a two meter distance room. The queues are massive. Um and what they do they they let in a certain amount and they let out. So basically if, if five come out, they let five in basically. So I yeah. think they have a total number how many they allow in. Um yeah. <clears throat> what else I'm reading as well, I recently downloaded this co- um this app called Comicsology, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, and, Comicsology, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been reading, uh, Kibler recommended The Long Halloween, so I'm reading that, it's pretty good. Are you uh, and it's so much more easy, obviously, I love hard copy comics, but I just think you've got the space for it, man. So, uh, this app is just perfect for me. It, it starts off from where I left it, uh, and uh, I'm actually really enjoying it, man. I'm actually <laughs> enjoying reading again. No, that's good, man. That's cool, good. man. It's a good. Yeah, it's, it's a good story as well. Yeah, so far it's pretty interesting, man. Yeah, they're looking to base the movie loosely on that book, so it's one to read, Gilman, if you get the chance. What's it called? The Long Halloween. Ah, oh, I know what you're talking about. When I was at a comic con, I think I saw the figure of that when it's just got all the DC villains in it. Yep. Uh, That's right. That big, that big one. Yeah. Ah, oh, I want that one, man. Oh, sick. Uh, cool, man. I've been reading... Um, I finished off that Punish on Wolverine one, which is interesting. Sorry, bro. Like, Explain to my shorts. shorts. <laughs> nah, yeah, shorts. Sorry. <laughs> Any booty in the corner. Sorry. <laughs> I love shorts. Just enjoy um, it. Enjoy it while you can. I finished off um, that Wolverine and Punisher one, which was interesting. How was uh, it? You know what? You know what? I don't know if I mentioned. In the comic, there was a pandemic going on in there, man. Think it out the, the Morlock was setting up some sort of radiation and people were just... What? Losing the uh, virus, so interesting, <laughs> interesting times. But uh, yeah, that's why I read in the Secret Invasion comics, which are quite interesting. Uh, yeah, so pretty good. Yeah, I like that. I like those. Uh, it's got a mixture of everyone in it, so pretty good. I think I saw that on the app I'm using, Secret Invasion. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's a good one. I've always seen the pictures and stuff, uh, the comic book cover, but to uh, <laughs> to actually yeah start reading it, it's pretty good. Okay, that's cool, man. That is cool. Um, you guys watch anything new? Like, anything cool I'm doing new as well? Oh, man, we should talk about our film, bro. Miracle in Cell Block 7, which is the most emotional film of all time. <laughs> um, yeah, bro. But, like, I mean, I guess we got we should as well get straight into it, man. I've never seen a film in my life where it keeps you emotional and want to cry for the whole damn film. Like, yeah. that was the sole purpose of that movie. Like, let's make everyone cry for two hours. Normally, yeah. a film that will make you emotional, maybe in the middle, definitely yeah. maybe at the end. But this film, first 10 minutes, and you're already feeling emotional, and then the whole film is just hurting you, man. I'm just like, it's the yeah. most deepest movie I've ever seen in my life. Well, well fine. I think, I think the, the, it's a Turkish movie, of course, uh, but I think the Koreans made a movie first, the, you know, a movie exactly the same first, and I think the Tur- Turkish 
uh, you know, made, made it after so the exact same. Apparently, it's the same thing, basically. But you know, I wonder. If, I do want to see the Korean one. I wonder if it's as emotional or the Turkish. Because yeah, the Korean one was the original. Turkish just remade it. But I wonder if they made it even more emotional or if it was exactly the same thing. Because yeah, yeah, that film was emotional. That man. film, yeah, man, it pulled on a lot of harsh things. Um, you know, you get into it straight away, and the father, obviously, spoiler alert, the father's obviously got. Uh, learning difficulties and he's got his daughter and it's like man like yeah it's most and then the, the, his mum as well his nan then um that 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 one scene got me man yeah yeah i mean spoiler alert guys i mean i might as well spoil it if you haven't seen it then maybe skip this part if you've seen it then you know what we're talking about if you haven't seen it go watch it but yeah uh, spoiler don't alert. spoil it don't spoil it don't spoil yeah. it don't spoil it oh have you Oh no, have you seen it? No, I've seen it. I don't, I don't think we should spoil it for people. I think people should should watch this film. I think, yeah, it's one to watch. We could spoil it on the next one where we can get into a bit more spoiler territory. I think we should do a therapy oh, sessions on this this week. Maybe we should, yeah, yeah. I've never seen such an emotional movie ever. Listen, man, I made food. I sat down and watched it. I couldn't even eat my food because my throat was so clogged up. Like, I had a lump in my throat. <laughs> I couldn't even eat. And I kept on sitting there thinking, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I just couldn't get away from it, man. It was yeah. so emotional. Yeah, that film was, well, yeah, got me emotional, man. I, yeah, let's, let's, do a, let's do a therapy session on it. Let's do a therapy yeah, yeah. session on it, definitely, this week sometime. A great movie, though, man. Great movie, man. I, I can't, I, like, such a good movie, man. Great performances from everyone, which made yeah. it more emotional. And such a adorable little girl, man. So cute. Um, yeah. His daughter. Yeah, no, brilliant film, man. I'm glad I, I'm glad I watched it. I wish I wasn't alone watching it and shit, but still, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Good movie, man. Um, I watched another film yesterday. Uh, it's called uh, Fantasy Island. Is it good? Who's in that? Uh, say that again, guys. Who's in that? Um, so it's got Maggie Q. Um, got a few other actors in action. You know um, the actor, the Mexican guy? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's in it. Um, and yeah, and, uh, what other guy? There's another actor. You know... Um, in, uh, Netflix? Yeah. Is it on Netflix? No, it's on Plex. Oh, Fantasy Island. I might check it out. Yeah, it's a good thriller, man. Uh, you, you know the actor that plays Yondu from Gardens of the Galaxy? He's in it. Um, yeah, I don't want to spoil it too much, but it's a good movie, a good thriller, uh, keeps you in the edge of the toll, you kind of want to know what's going on, and uh, yeah, yeah, very good movie. Okay, uh, cool. What about the more, more about the more combat thing, man? What oh, yo! Story? That was that sick. That I was haven't cool. seen that, that but go for it, let me know. Yeah, do spoil it, but watch it, kids, it's really good. First 15 minutes, or 10 minutes, you're like, the animation, the, the, the fighting and everything, I was like, wow, like, it had me on the edge of my seat, I was like, this is really good, man. The violence, man, it was, the violence, the, it was a brilliant cartoon, yeah, that, 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 it was so good. Yeah, I enjoyed that, man, and then you kind of see, um, Scorpion, I don't want to spoil it too much, because you haven't seen it, but Scorpion's side of things. Okay. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you watch it, you'll enjoy it. I hope, definitely I hope check they it out. make more. I mean, they've obviously, like, you know, I hope they make more of it, but it was a really good, uh, definitely a good cartoon. Uh, it's I like like watching, it was like watching Street Fighter, the animated series, the first time. Remember that animated manga? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. like watching that. When you first watch that, you're like, oh, my God, this is so amazing. It was like watching that for the first time. Okay, you know yeah. what? I do feel like Street Fighter should make another animation, man. It's been a long while. And I was thinking of Street Fighter while I was watching the Mortal Kombat thing, man. Nah, I think they should leave it, bro. That's one yeah, thing. they should leave Street Fighter, man. Because I think Street Fighter, that was a one and done classic. Yeah. They made some other little series and whatnot, but no need to, um, yeah, no need to make more and different stories and whatnot. Uh, plus, they never set that Street Fighter up one for a, um, a part two. Well, then again, they did, because M. Bison comes back at the end and whatnot, but it wasn't really set up for a second part, so leave it. Yeah. Uh, then, I mean, even the, I, I remember watching the Tekken manga, and I don't think that was even that capturing. I never watched that. No, I don't think that uh, was that capturing, though. Yeah, I don't remember it. That's why I don't think it was that good. But this this um, this Mortal Kombat one was absolutely brilliant. I fucking loved it. Yeah, 
I'll have to check it out. I'm gonna probably watch it tomorrow. We're just trying to pick a movie to watch now that we finally got the TV here. Yesterday was emotional, man. Trying to yeah, stay away from everybody. Oh, man. Full on. Full on. How crazy is that, man? It's like we're literally in a movie. Like, how crazy is that? That you're outside the house, you haven't seen mum and dad in like a month, and, you, and Idris is at the window, looking through the window, and you can't even go in and say hello and give him a hug during this time period. How? How? What kind of like? Hurtful. Do you ever think? Hurtful. It's definitely hurtful. Yeah. Deep, man. Man. As soon as mum came out, I just see a cry. First thing she said was, cry, "And you're gonna come in?" And I'm like, ah, "I can't, and we can't risk." Uh, making each other ill, so I maybe maybe be you know immune to it, but I could be carrying it during that time. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Man, that's crazy, man. Yeah. Crazy. I can't you, know, you know the that's crazy. So that, people that's... Are, people are still going out to their family members' house, and people are still going to the park. Like people don't even care, man. People are being very selfish out there. It's starting to really annoy me. Yeah, it's a bit basic, people doing that. Yeah, that's the basic thing, man. People just not... Yeah. Yeah. Consider that. Yeah, because it affects everyone, man. But yeah, that video clip you took of Idris at the window and you just couldn't go in and say hello, so you were just talking to him through the window. That's emotional, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, a couple more weeks, right? Three more weeks has been extended in UK, right? Yeah, that's right. What about over there? Yeah, that's a good, you know what? It's good Ramadan starting at least as well. At least maybe if it goes through Ramadan, that might be good actually. From the sense of just, I mean, obviously it's not good. The economy's gone down and people trying to get back to normal. But from the perspective of just like, you know, getting composed, going through Ramadan and stuff like that, that it might be good for that. Um, you know, I'm still going to end up, I mean, I'm still working from home. It's busy anyway, but I'm still keeping myself busy. Ramadan starts from next week, so... You know, at least there'll be something else to focus on, I guess. Yeah, no, that's true, man. Working at home, it's been busy for me as well, man. Um, I recently bought some uh, resistance bands um, that you can you can put on the door. So you close the door, you kind of go through the gap, and then you can work out chest exercises and stuff like that, shoulders, and yeah, it's pretty good, man. Boy, so I've been using that recently as well for training. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I've been, um, yeah, just, yeah, I've just been doing all home stuff, man. I got some resistance stuff coming, so hopefully come soon. But I've done some hill ones today. I mean, I took, took, took my friend for a workout who was in Japan, and then yeah. I went for some hill ones earlier, um, which was yeah. great. And then I ate two pizzas. <laughs> I was cooking. I was craving. One plus I was, one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one um i was uh i've been feeling domino's pizza the whole week and i was like someday i'm gonna get it and then when sunday came i was just like i want to have my two pizzas and i didn't wasn't i didn't want two i tried one but it had an offer so i was like oh, i might as well get one <laughs> three, and then eat that too so i had a game pizzas. what's that Are they large pizzas or small no 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 like regular regular okay. like eight pieces Eight, eight slices each. Jeez, that's a big, that's a meat, man. Oh, I don't know, they're, they're, they're not, they're not huge, man, but yeah, it was good though. Oh my God, I'm stuffed. I'm going to have to have a bad shit tomorrow, but I tell you that. <laughs> um, oh man, I finished off that documentary, the, uh, the trial of, uh, Greg Gabriel, uh, Fernandez. Oh yeah, what did you think, man? Tough. That's the... Common, right? Listen, man, like, spoiler alert, man, but that, the, the mother and the father should have both got death penalty, man. It, it would be like, the mother should have got it too. She was a prick. Yeah. Um, she, she should have got it too. She was like, or oh, oh, not death penalty, just get beaten up every day. That What they tortured the boy, they should have been tortured. But that, that guy was just sitting there. It just didn't show any emotions, man, when they were going through the case. I'm like, what evil bastard, man. A poor little guy, man, eight years old. Such a poor kid, man. I can't believe that happened uh, to him. Just tortured. Not even just, you know, they were beating him up like he was a like you like like he was a grown ass man. Um, yeah, both of them should have been gone to. Both of them should have got the death penalty. That bitch, she she didn't get it. She 
she's supposed to be the mother, man. So that was hard. That was a bit hard. That one. That one's a bit hard. Yeah, that was tough, man. It, it kind of, um, yeah, again, it's a lump in the throat kind of thing, man. Like, you're, you're is it innocent? Kids are, kids are just generally, they're innocent, man. You look at it. They don't know what's going and you, on, and for that to happen. Yeah, they don't know what's going on, man. And it was sad, man. And then obviously, the parents thought he was gay because he was, you know, they found him with girls' clothing and. You know, the beating because of that. And, <laughs> they put him in girl with kill clothing. And he's eight years old. How the fuck does he even know that he's gay? Like, yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? Like, he's eight years old. What the hell does he know if he's gay or not? He don't know shit. Yeah. Right? Maybe when he's a couple years later and he starts realising girls, he goes through puberty and hormones and shit, then he'll probably be like, ah, oh, shit, I, I ain't gay, I, I like women. But yeah, he's eight years old. How the fuck does he know? That, how the hell do they know that he's gay? Gay, like, oh, and even if he was gay, like, like, what the fuck? How do you beat the shit out of him like that? He's eight years old. Mm. Yeah, it's messed up, man. That was tough. Man. That was tough. Kid. You know, and they, uh, uh, we only, because the thing is, his mum gave him up to you know, the uncle or somebody. Anyway, she gave him up to them, and then she wanted him back. Yeah, that, that is what got me, man. So like, why didn't they? Why didn't someone do anything? That was a crazy thing that like, nobody. Like, why didn't the teachers just not let him go home or mm. call his grandmother and say, look, he's not going back home? Like, I don't know, man. I, I, listen, I, I don't know because I don't, never know what I would have done. You can always speculate what you would do. But I was like, man, if I was the teacher, I'm like, kid, you're coming home with me. You're not going home. I'm not, t- I'm not letting you go home with them to that house. Exactly. Um, exactly. But I don't, I don't know, though. I don't, I don't know what, again, you just don't know. Um, that yeah. one hurt, though, man. Fucking poor little guy, man. Yeah. Poor kid, man. Um, obviously, nowadays they take that stuff a lot more serious, man, because, you know, any any slight, slight mark on the child, the teachers have to report it, they have to tell the head teacher, they have to tell social services, you know, they get police involved. And, you know, there's a lot of cases like, you know, my wife has to go through sometimes, and it is hurtful, man, because... Well, that's what they did you know, in that but in that, in that documentary, it's like the police didn't give a shit. Mm. It's like a lot of the system didn't give a shit. That's what, it wasn't just, it wasn't, because the teachers went through the system. A lot of people went through the system. But even there was other security guards and whatever. Remember that security guard who was on, who was on had the walking stick and whatnot? They all went through, oh, it was just the right. system. Yeah, exactly. It was all the system that let them down because just certain people didn't want to do shit. Certain police officers didn't want to do shit. It's like, you fuckers, man, you let, you let him die. Right? They, I mean, look, I don't want to say that they were, it was their fault, but they had the opportunity to fix it, help them, and they chose not yeah. to. They chose to, yeah. you know, whatever, man. Like, one of the police officers, was, one, remember, one, there was one police officer, officer that said that, uh, um, I think the mother and father said that he's been lying, so the police officer put him in the car and said, if you lie, you're going to jail. Like, he's a little eight-year-old kid that's got brutal over him, man. you're doing that, like, so the system let him down, man. The system let him down. Yeah, I agree, man. That, that police officer pissed me off as well, man. How are you going to threaten a little kid to go jail, man? Yeah, after you see that on his face, you should be investigating about. And if it is, if you got beaten up on the streets, so you need to go find those kids. Yeah. But no, yeah. man, he, he just believed the parents. And I was just like, what, what dickhead? So it's a system, man. Basic system. Yeah, yeah that's pretty. Yeah, that, that, that. Me, man. It's always gonna that be hurts. the system that fails people anyway, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's, a, that's the sad thing about it is that the, the system is failed by the people that think they've created it to protect general people. It, it, it's, it's, that's yeah. not that's not gonna help. That's not, yeah. not gonna be the one that saves people's lives. It ends up ruining yeah. people's lives, to be honest. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough, man. Oh man, what else did I watch? I'm trying to think. So Friday night I watched the Turkish film. Today I finished off Scorpion. I watched something yesterday. What did I watch? I don't I can't remember. I watched something new. What'd you watch? Uh, David David Batista's new film, uh, Spy. No, I don't know what that is. Is that Plex? Yeah. Yeah, it's alright. It's more of like, kind of like, you know, kids friendly kind of film. Um, yeah. I mean, also he's a spy, gets involved with the family, and yeah, and then yeah, I don't know what's going on. But it's, it's a kick, it's a funny film. Sorry, guys, you guys see oh, yeah. me in my, my cycling shorts. 
I'm doing some work in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm going right. to move the camera so you, you don't see, see my bunny. Nobody wants to see them tight ass shorts. <laughs> um, tight ass boring cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? I must have watched something yesterday, man. I'm trying to think. What did I watch yesterday? Uh, was it Netflix? Was it okay, okay, it's it's about my ass. Yeah, I'm talking about my ass. Shibli, yeah. why are you talking about my ass? I'm not talking about my mother's ass. That's basic. <laughs> oh, man. What's been going on, man? What have you been reading? What, um, shit, you been, what? I'm trying to think. Yeah, long Halloween, man. It seems pretty interesting. Uh, very, very similar to the Dark Knight story. I don't want to spoil it too much, anyway. But there's certain certain things they picked out. Um, uh, I like the art. I'm not sure if you've done that. Kim, who's done the art for uh, Long Halloween, man? Uh, artist's his name's Tim Sale. Tim Sale, yeah, very nice. Very different kind of approach. Uh, yeah. Very simple colours, very simple shading. Uh, and like I said, man, I'm kind of glad it's at uh, comicology. Comicology has uh, got me back into the because like, it's so easy to pick it up, go back into it, and you just type, uh, you tap on the side and it, it, it goes, it goes uh, to each part of it. Is and it one free? One, 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 just done. <laughs> no, it's free, but the certain comics, uh, obviously, you've got paper comics in it. Okay, yeah, I'm a paper guy, though, I do like my paper. Yeah, no. It is a space figure, but I got tons of comic on my laptop, but on my iPad, but I just can't yeah. them. I just can't get the same feeling. So that's why I like the paper, paperback. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Sorry. Watching a few different podcasts has come out. Uh, Tyson's had a new one with uh, uh, Rick Ross, the real Rick Ross, Freeway Rick, Freeway Rick Ross, Ross, who was the, uh, the the rapper one is just some fake ass man. This guy was the original. He was a drug dealer um, and like big man. He was like the president was quoting him. He was like the big part of the crackhead academic uh, back yeah. in the day in LA and whatnot. A uh, big yeah. part of it, uh, even quoted by the president or whatnot. He comes across as a nice guy. He was just like, man, I was, I just wasn't good at education. He was, he wanted to be a tennis player. Like he was good at tennis. Yeah. And then when he when he went to college, because he wasn't smart, you know, he didn't have the academics because he just couldn't figure it out. He, you know, they 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 rejected him. So all his dreams and whatever of becoming a tennis player just went down the drain. Uh, and then he had to just make money and whatnot, right? Because they they didn't allow him into college. And then he became one of the biggest cocaine dealers ever and um, cocaine or crack or something. Yeah. But now, I mean, he spent like 20 years in prison. What now he's just like, I mean, I don't know how it was then, but he's just got all his thinking about just how he can help people. Uh, and now he's just got a few different businesses and he just wants to help people, help the community, uh, make a difference in the world. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, man, the real, the real original Rick Ross, man. Basic ass rapper. I think the basic ass rapper even took him to court because of the name and then um and then he even won. yeah that's how basic that guy is man i, I kind of lost respect i mean I, to be honest i never listened to his shit anyway but like what a fake ass dude man like the guy was a, like rick ross has got the, the original rick ross is, it's on his birth certificate that his name is rick ross and then uh, oh, this basic ass rapper just tried to portray him you know and um yeah so that was that was an interesting story there's another one i've been listening uh they should not they should Donnell Rollins uh, uh, was on the Joe Rogan one, so that was funny. Uh, he's always funny on Joe Rogan. Uh, yeah. There's a new Fat Man and Batman, and they said special, I haven't seen it yet, but it's a special guest, um, Jim Lee. So that'd be an interesting one to listen to, see what Jim Lee, you know. I saw, I saw it yesterday. <laughs> was it good? Yeah, it's actually, it's really good. Uh, and it's good to see them all geek out together. They've been on a podcast before, it was years ago. Uh, but, you know, what Jim Lee's trying to do at the moment now, trying to help the comic book industry because this pandemic the lockdown has closed down everything hasn't it so he's trying to yeah. help yeah. support there must local, be a lot of... local businesses local comic book shops we know um that comic con's been cancelled and stuff so yeah it's like acting quite a big man 
Yeah, well, I mean, look, yeah, comic book, like, local businesses are being affected quite a lot. So let's hope the government has a plan for them or just helps them, you know? There's, there's, there's a trail of money. If you follow the trail, man, from the landlord to the bank, they got, they got to be considerate. Like, the banks have got to be considerate to say, you know what, for those three months, nobody has to pay, should, should be able to pay rent and mortgage and whatever, like, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. pull it off the next week. You know what I mean? They, they, they've got to be considerate, man. It would be stupid to do, to be like, no, well, you lose. Just... I know, I know a lot of banks are stupid, man. Yeah, they should be, man. The world needs to come together now and say, everyone, don't worry, your jobs are cool, your banks are cool. Let's just stop money for a second. You know what I mean? They should be like, stop money for a second. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't worry about rent and any of that sort of stuff. Let's just get on with things. And then we'll mm-hmm. start again in three months. Because can't help it, man. We're in, a, we're, in a, we're in a freaking pandemic, which would take more time to get through. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I can imagine comic book industries. I'm going to check that podcast out. It's on my list. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. what to listen to. It's, it's fun. It's, uh, it's good to hear yeah, Jim Lee doing what he's doing and I mean Mark Bernard and and, and uh, Kevin Smith doing their thing still going to the, the quarantine and still doing the podcast it's amazing it's a uh, yeah man it's quite inspiring because they're still at it you know what I mean because at the end of the day it's still their yeah, bread and man. butter isn't it that's it that's it I mean podcast uh, actually right now podcast <clears throat> is one of the best sources of content I mean podcast ratings and viewership is just going up during this time because what else can you do like netflix's views have gone up their stock price has gone up you know um you know stuff like that streaming services you know all this sort of stuff while you're at home they need to be you know these are the best times you know to um to be streaming because obviously everyone's got to be at home so anything you could do online any streaming services podcast those are that's that's what's popping at the moment okay Nice. Uh, what's God of War say, man? Oh shit, I've been playing that still. It's good, man. It's good. I'm, uh, I remember the parts that I'm on now. I'm still, I haven't gone past where I was before, so still playing it, you know, here and there. It's good. Yeah. Enjoying it. That's good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You playing on easy still? Yeah, yeah, I left it on easy, man. I can't be bothered, man. If I lose, I'm going to not play. I need to I need to get motivated to play. I just want to win, man. I, I don't need a challenge anymore. I just want to win. <laughs> I just want to win. So, uh, it keeps me motivated. Like, if I keep losing, if you just keep losing a fight battle, and <laughs> 10 minutes gone past, 15 minutes gone past, you're trying to win the same battle, I'm just like, I can't bother with this shit. So I need to, yeah, yeah can't lose motivation. Um, there's one game that I bought, it's called Sekiro, yeah? I bought it, and the same day I sold it, man. It was so hard. I mean, guys, if you ever played this game called Sekiro, it's a brilliant game. It actually for game of the year, like, that's how brilliant it was. It's like a ninja game. But the game was so hard. The same day, I remember I put it on eBay and sold it, because I could not even get past the first two or three guys. That's basic. It's all about time. Yeah, it's all about time. It's all about countering. Um, oh man, it done my head in. I was with Alon. Alon sat next to me. We put it on, we're playing it, and then 10 minutes later, I'm like, bam, this is going on eBay. I'm trying to think straight away, man. Well, I think Listen, back uh, in the days, I would sit on the game all day, go crazy, and try and do it. Now, I just shut off and I don't play anymore. Remember, I broke that Jackie Chan? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I got so angry. Oh, yeah. I got so angry. I, I pulled it out of the, of the PlayStation and I punched it and it broke the game. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, but I used to go angry, man. I punched the damn game and it smashed. I was like, oh, man. And it wasn't even mine. It was Gokan. Remember that? My oh, yes. Gokan. It was his. She had broke someone else's game. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Well, it's better than giving man. it to somebody in Bangladesh. What's that? It's better than giving the game to somebody in Bangladesh. What do you mean? Javid gave uh, one of Yakub's games to Bang- Street Fighter to, <laughs> to one of his Bangladesh relatives. Basic. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, man. But yeah, no, no I, I have to win. I have to win. With video games now, I just have to win. I do want to play Final Fantasy. How's Final Fantasy? Uh, I've been, I haven't touched it, man, because uh, I'm currently concentrating on Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, I'm almost, I'm like 10 missions away from completing the game. Because what it is, you know, I've got this habit of buying a new game and then not completing the old ones. But let me complete this one before I start Final Fantasy. 
Um, so Assassin's Creed, I'm 10 missions away, and then, then I'm going to get back on Final Fantasy, man. But apparently, like I said, it's not even half the game, man. I was speaking to Alum. It's a quarter of the game, bro. Quarter? Like, what? It's like, that's how... Yeah, man, it's a quarter of the game. You know, you know which bit? You know, you were in Midgard, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's basically just you're still in Midgard the whole time. You don't even come out of it. And that's like 30 hours of the game, 40 hours of the game. Wait, wait, wait. And then, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does it follow the exact same story as Final Fantasy VII, the original one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly the same story. We obviously added a few more extra missions in the game, like side missions and stuff like that. But it's 30 to 40 hours of content they kind of crammed in, man. Um, and that's so only a they're, plan- they're planning to release four then? Yeah, by the looks of it, they're going to they're gonna release more, obviously, on PlayStation 5. Um, and obviously, they're going to re-release this one on PlayStation 5 as well when it comes out. I'm not going to buy this shit. Um, I don't even know if I want that then, man. That's too long, man. Fuck. Just wait for PlayStation 5, bro. I'm going to buy a PlayStation 5 and it's just going to sit there like an idiot. And I will buy it because I'm an idiot. And I'm just not, never going to play it because I just don't... I, well, I'm playing God of War now. We'll see what happens. I just wish like games like Tekken didn't lose this touch for me, man. Then I would have been like, yeah, like on it. But that game lost Tekken. touch. That was my game, bro. Metal Gear Solid 5 was awesome too. I just, again, I just love patience, um, doing all the side yeah. missions. The problem is, too many side missions. Um, but, yeah. No, I love like, Assassin's Creed Origins, yeah, it's got like, uh, like 100 and over 100 side missions uh, in the game. Like, it's mad, mental. Yeah. Um, With God of War, I am doing a little bit of the side, you know, trying to find little items here and there, but. In general, yeah. I'm just going through the game. Yeah, I'm just going through the game, man. Did, did you check that video I sent you of that guy doing all the martial arts moves and stuff like that? Yeah, really? yeah, 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 yeah. That was good. Yeah, so obviously he's the guy that basically did all the combat scenes and the combat actions for God of War as well, man. That's it. Yeah. Um, and he, he just started, he just started looking down. He's got, he's got the taekwondo skills. He's a martial artist, acrobatic guy, man. So, yeah. 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 It was pretty sick, man. That was good. Um, um, but what else is there? <laughs> yeah, nothing else, guys. Like, same old, just working from home. And, you know, I don't know until I, I... It's maybe a good couple of months I'm, until I'm actually out on the field, man. Until I'm in the work, uh, main office, uh, main head, head office, sorry. So, work from home for a while, man. Yeah, just get used to it man i mean to be honest with you i like working from home i like it now i've built a routine i'm actually enjoying it so i can't wait till the gym's open in singapore's plan is may 5th i do think it's going to extend but um singapore's plan is may 5th but if my company allows me to work from home longer i'm staying at home i'm not going back to the office as long as the gym's open i'll be happy um and then, obviously, if i could see people as well i'd be happy as well because i want to see some people man uh, I haven't seen people in two bloody weeks, uh, or more than that. Um, even. um, what's the like the cases in uh, Singapore, man? They're really high, like death rates yeah, are really high. Yeah, it's spiking now. It's spiking now, like 900 a day. But unfortunately, it's the they call them the migrant workers. They're basically uh, all the you know the Bengali. They all basically they're the people that do the street works and the construction and they clean the streets and all that stuff. They're all Bengali, yeah. man, trust me, like, the majority of them are Bengali, they come from Bangladesh, and um, yeah. they call them migrant workers. I mean, this is the cases all over the world, man, it's like, they're expats. The difference between them and me is I'm from the UK, and I work for Dow Jones and a prestige company, so I'm called an expat. They've come from Bangladesh, yeah. they're like street cleaners, so they call them migrant workers. It, it's some it's some yeah. bullshit that the, the global whatever people made up, man, but it's some bullshit. But anyways, unfortunately, they like are not the most wealthiest, obviously. They probably live in a shitty conditions and they're all getting it basically. So every like 900 a day is all coming from, from them. They live in these dorms and um, every day it's getting cases. But they are all getting tested. I think what it is, is they're all getting tested, which is why the numbers are high because they're doing a lot of testing. And um, yeah. I think I think most of them are like not in severe, you know, problems. So I think that's mm. 
death rate's not that high, so that's good. But unfortunately, still, it's, it, again, it's always it's, it's, it's the poor people. I mean, this virus doesn't discriminate, like I said, but because yeah. of their living yeah. condition, mm-hmm. one person got it, and it's just spread it to everyone in there. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. Singapore's literally clean, yeah. and it is the way it is because it, because of these people. I'm telling you. Otherwise, yeah. it wouldn't be as clean as it is, man, because they're out on the streets every day cleaning and shit. Yeah, well, the death rate in London, uh, UK is getting higher, man. Like, what, over 15,000 maybe now? Maybe 15,000? Yeah. Like, it's getting higher and higher, man. It's scary, yeah. but... It is, you know, man. We'll, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. I mean, look, there's so many other death rates that we're not even encountering or we even think about, like the flu and malaria and all these other sort of things. We don't even think about those. So they're high as well. This just might be a part of that whole statistic, but you just, you know, yeah. because it's new and nobody knows much about it, that's what's mm. making it scary. Yeah, 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 it's true, man. So true. Man. Yeah, just keep safe, wash your hands. Keep that two meter distance. You gotta keep optimistic though, man. You gotta keep optimistic. Um, you know, China looks like they're back to normal. So if China could do it, then it should be cool. Hong Kong's in a great place. Not many cases there at all, so oh, they've been able to, you know, restrain it. So, got to keep it. It's a shame that everyone else around the world is, you know, is, is oh, the whole world, the whole world. I mean, yeah. crazy. Uh, only the Chinese government was able to just stop it from the beginning. Um, mm. They, I don't know why they didn't. Well, I mean, it's too late now. But if they could have, they could have. Apparently, there's a, there was someone saying that they could have stopped 95 percent of the spread if they just was honest about it and shut things down from the beginning the chinese government um, yeah. because they didn't the whole world is in the way it is today chinese government yeah. the chinese people let's get it clear and the chinese innocent people got nothing to do with this shit. we're talking about always the people in charge um so yeah. you know it's always the people I mean, in charge innocent chinese yeah. people have nothing to do with it been watching uh, a few videos online on how uh, there's there's been some racial uh, racial attack going on in China um, and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys seen the videos on Twitter and stuff. It's quite it's quite crazy what's going on there as well. Yeah, people are stupid. People will always be stupid. I've got friends on Facebook that say st- that, that are saying stupid shit like like literally posting shit like oh when are we gonna nuke China? I'm like are you are you stupid? So you wanna go kill? innocent like why would you even say that i don't know to me that upsets me because i'm I, and i'm i've never comment back but i'm like what so what you want to just go nuke a bunch of innocent people like they had like i said it's not they it was not it nothing to do with them it was the, the yeah. government if the chinese government was able to just say stop this shit's going on stop travel stop everything tell all the other countries hey listen sit, put any chinese visitors for now just put them in quarantine this is what's going on but they didn't they didn't do that so that the government the people in charge it's always the people in charge that just wasn't up front about it but the innocent chinese people man they had no idea what the fuck they were doing you know what i'm saying they had no idea what the hell's going on um so you see this racial stuff and yeah like i said when i saw a friend of mine post that and i was like why would you post something like that man nuke china like just think about what you're saying you want to kill hundreds of thousands of chinese people like I know the world's in the way it is today, but you just wanna you you just put that like on Facebook like it's easy to say. Let like, damn. Some people fuck. just easy to say something quick, bro. You know what I mean? It's difficult. Yeah. I don't I know the imagine, what they're saying. Would, listen, man. I was I was hearing something the other day again on Joe Rogan's podcast, and this was talking about World War Two and Hitler and and whatnot. And he was saying the majority of the German, the the the, the, the ordinary German people, the majority were just so against him. That they didn't even want it, but this guy was so, you know, such a dictator and had his had his followers and whatnot. He caused what he caused, but the majority of Germans just want nothing to do with it. They were like, "What the fuck is this guy?" Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Um, yeah. Could, could you imagine, like, just just saying you want to kill the innocent people? It's like, what the hell's it? What's what's the general person got to do with what's happening today? It's not his fault or her fault. It's always the people in charge. Um, mm. So yeah, but you know how it is, though, man. Listen, some idiot that goes and blows something up and says Allah Akbar, then we're all getting, you know, everyone's gonna be like Muslim this, Muslim that. So, you know, it's the same case. 
people are just going to be ignorant and always be, you know, just Dude, protect, follow that. I think they need to taste, man. Yeah, it's dumb. But, um, yeah. I don't know, man, listen, I, but Logan keeps saying it, man. Vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc. He's saying those three things that you should be keeping them up. And actually, you should get some for home as well. Vitamin C, D, and zinc. And make sure all shit's at home. Every time I go to Tesco, I'm holding them barred. Nothing. Just order it online, bro. Order it. Order it online. Order it online. We ordered some yesterday. Yeah, I mean, what? Do you have vitamin C out? Well, get some D and get some zinc. I don't know the science behind it. Rogan was talking about it. So, listen, he's my dude. (laughs) Whatever he says, I go for. So, just, I say go for that. I, I, I take my vitamin C. Vitamin D, I do go out. I've got some, but I do go out for runs, and I don't put glasses on or anything. I just I have a mask on and whatnot, but I get my vitamin D when I go outside. But yeah, get those three, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Nah, main thing is uh, looking after yourself, guys, and uh, keep yourself occupied. Listen, I, I did some things this week. I should have. Uh, I did post about it on our Instagram, so make sure you're following us all on Instagram. Ashraf, what's your one again? Uh, Ashraf, uh, AS14ROF. You've got G, uh, Gilman187 and you've got Kibra Ahmed Art. So on my one, I've recently posted up some uh, artwork that, you know, unfish- I'm going to be doing a lot of unfinished projects. So things that uh, probably didn't come out, things that uh, I didn't get to finish off, I'm just get- going through all of that and putting them all up. And, you know, just I feel a bit more refreshed now. So. I'm working on a, a little storybook uh, for Alara. Nothing to publish or anything, just my own, just for my own thing, just for her, you know what I mean? So, unfinished projects, things you guys wanted to start off, houseworks, things like that. Get them done now while you've got the chance because if this lockdown finishes early, you're going to be crying. Be like, ah, oh, I didn't do Nathan. Lose. Don't be that guy. Don't be the lose. Don't be the lose guy. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. It's true, definitely, yeah, you are picking up things, man. Whatever you got to do, pick it up, do it. And yeah. I think a lot of people come out of this coming out healthy, man, like, and being aware of their body and what they're putting in their bodies and stuff. Like, not just, oh, I need to wear a mask. Like, no, you got to be freaking healthy, man. you got to look after your body. you got to do some exercise. you got to eat good foods. Um, you know, like, shit, man. Yeah. You're going to pay my friends, man. A uh, few of my friends, they bought all four bikes. They go for like 20, 30 mile uh, like bike rides and stuff. Man. So they've been really active uh, with their bike and their exercise and stuff. And it's really good. They get to get both of the distance and stuff. But they just I, go I around. And doing, do uh, I started doing, I think I started last week, Monday. I started doing the One Punch Man uh, daily exercises, except the 6.2 mile runs. Yeah. Wait, so, wait, what's the, tell me this, what's the one punch man next? So that's that's uh, 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 100 sit-ups, and 6.2 miles of running every day. But I, I can't put the run in there because I've still got bad knees, so I'm just doing more push-ups, more sit-ups. But I've realised in the four weeks that we've already been in lockdown, we haven't had no takeaway food, I haven't been lounging as much, and my, my belly, my fat bellies is cutting down, so my little girl's not saying baby, baby no more. I'm starting to go down a bit. so yeah she was saying it a couple of weeks ago she, i was laying down on the floor and she was like baby baby rubbing my belly and i was like yeah, this is basic <laughs> oh thank you man yeah what if you got to skip from what bro go in your garden skip for 10 minutes that's what I, minutes. I'm, that's I'm looking for do. that today as well so i'm working on the kitchen and then i'm gonna go over uh, do a review on uh, the arc reactor and then nice uh yeah do the review on that unboxing of that and then uh i'm going to compare it with the one that i got off ebay with my name on it see what details are different and see how it looks and then uh that's why ash last samurai bro yes i'm so sorry man i've been so busy with work and after work i just kind of zone out man um i've got a new product company soon um it's called um damn toys assassin's creed really um, I sold my Devil May Cry Dante to get this one because I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan. I've played all of them 
the guys, you guys I know I'm a big fan. I played all of them, I completed them all 100%, and then they just released uh, Connor, Connor Kenway. And, uh, it, it was one of my favorite Assassin's Creed game, man. When they released his trade, I was like, yeah, I have to get it. Obviously, if that, it's on the way to me. Uh, I've been tra- I check the tracking like every second. I don't know if you guys are like this. When you order something, you just randomly, just every, every minute you check it and the chain just status. And I've been doing that, man. I'm looking forward to receiving that this coming week. Do a review on it, do a review on it when you get it. Do a review, do the review, bro. I'm waiting for my Punisher War Machine, man. I'm waiting for my email from Hot Toys to say your Punisher War Machine is ready to collect. Uh, well, I'm going to ask my, ask my friend to go collect that it. That looks moist. So basic, man. I should have ordered that in Singapore. I don't know why I went and done it in Hong Kong, man. So basic. Like, uh, I was on eBay the other day and, the, the, you know, uh, Prime One Studios had that Punisher one, and he had a baseball bat, and he had the shotgun, and it was like the uh, seven hundred pound in the UK, and I was like, man, if Jim was here with it, you know, that was like he would, he would, he would like, man. It was really cool. I will, yeah. I will get one side show Punisher figure, whatever it is. I will get one. I will spend the big boy monies and get one for sure. Yeah, I mean, they, they are very expensive. Uh, Prime One Studios and Sideshow Collectibles, obviously 500 to a grand, even more. There's, there's, there's so many that I like, but in my head, I'm like, hey, that's too much of a big boy money to spend, man. I'm not playing God's face, or, you know. Um, but it's a hobby, man. This hobby can be quite dangerous. <laughs> Perfect, right, man. Right, hey, right. what about, uh, I've been reading lots of rumours online, and probably definitely rumours, but one saying Captain Marvel 2 will set up the new Avengers movie, and two, yeah. they're speculating mutants will be in Doctor Strange 2. Now that one makes sense for me, because if he's going to multiverses, then easily what the mutants could have been living in a different multiverse. So that's an easy segue, but... um I don't know, man. Let's see what they do, man. They got to keep us. It's crazy, man. We haven't had a, a Marvel movie in ages. Black Widow should have been out now, right? Yeah, that's right. Crazy. Yeah, Black Widow should have been out. So yeah, no. Interesting. Interesting times. Interesting times. Well, the UFC. Oh my God, could you believe it? Khabib and Connor was supposed to be. No, Khabib and Tony was supposed to be today, which is the fight that. Everyone wants to have waiting for, yeah. Uh, that got cancelled. Um, well, I don't know if you heard, they were going to make it happen anyway, but not with Khabib, another guy called Justin Gaethje. So that would have been a crazy fight. That got yeah. cancelled because Disney CEOs phoned up Dana White and said, listen, man, you would to cancel that shit. I think they got a phone call from the governor or, or the mayor or something. I don't know. Someone important in government and uh, Disney CEO just phoned Dana White and said, hey, man, shut that shit up. And then UFC's got this fight island that they're working on. So I'm Enter the Dragon, Mortal Kombat shit. Uh, Yo, why did Disney call up and say call up? Uh... Because it's ESPN, isn't it? They're owned by, not owned by ESPN, they got partnership with ESPN. So Disney yeah. owns ESPN. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I forgot about it. Disney, man, bloody are so powerful. But yeah, then now UFC's got this fight island that they're building, which is literally like a movie or video game. Um, but yeah, everything. But they feel like they're going to be the first ones back in regards to the sporting industry. Um, so, yeah, the moment we can get back to normal, slowly, slowly, that'll be, that'll be a good time. Yeah, definitely, we'll be, man. We'll definitely be um, talking about it for a while, you know? A couple years down the line, you'll be like, oh, remember that corona shit? Like, it's, it's, it's madness. It's madness. Hey, yo, Cable. Cool, man. All right, boys. Uh, I think I've gone through it as much as I can with what I've been doing at the moment. So we're going to do a therapy sessions for Miracle in cell block cell number seven. Uh, let's pick a day. Let's do that. And we were supposed to do a dark night one last week. So uh, Tuesday night. Uh, well, for you, Tuesday night. Yeah, let me think, let me think. Uh, yeah, that could work. I might have a call, but let me, yeah, let me check. It might work. All right, let's do that. Let's get on that. Let's get on that. Might have a work call. Guys, make sure you stream yeah. us. If you can't see our beautiful faces on YouTube, you can stream us 
on SoundCloud. Type in the Brothers Geek Out podcast or Kibla Ahmed Art and you'll find that come up. Guys, you can listen to us all the time now. Uh, I am working on getting us on other platforms as well, but episode 100 to 106 is already up on there. Well, this is 106. It will be up on there. Uh, massive thank you for the support, guys. I've seen a massive spike in the channel as well. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, yeah, be safe, everybody, and uh, I'll catch you guys up soon. G-Man, Ash, good to catch up with you guys today. We had good fun today, man. Peace. Take care. Chill out.